Me at the top tonight, as we reported today, the coastal bend already seeing impacts from Tropical Storm Francine. This is the third storm that has produced coastal flooding in our area this hurricane season. Which begs the question, how much beach have we lost due to these storms? And what are we doing to make sure that we're prepared for the future events? Our Josh Maxwell who has spoke with state le local leaders and state leaders to get some answers. He joins us now with the very latest. Josh? The city is looking to do a survey assessment to help identify areas where our shore needs to be renourished. It will focus on the area from Fish Pass to Bob Hall Pier, including the seawall area. Experts I spoke with say that our beaches have endured a lot this summer alone due to the impacts of recent storms. The last time I saw the, this amount of uh, beach loss was probably with Hurricane Hannah that came through, and that's the one that took down Bob Hall Pier. Jace Tunnel with the Heart Research Institute giving an idea of how much our coastal shores have endured this hurricane season so far. Most recently, Tropical Storm Francine. That's the interesting thing about some of these storms is that um, you know it could take out big chunks of sand dunes in one area, but it puts it out in another area. Angela Sunley is the Texas General Land Office Deputy of Coastal Resources. She says that even with an active hurricane season, the coastal bend is still seeing average levels of erosion. Average between two to four feet of erosion a year along the Texas coast. We do have some areas that are hot spots. It can take anywhere from five to 10 years for those dunes to recover, but we're pretty lucky in the Middle Coast area where y'all are where um, there's plenty of sediment in the system. Nueces County Coastal Parks Director Scott Cross describes how Tropical Storm Alberto did a number on his division. We averaged probably around 30 to 35 foot of dune loss. It was higher in other areas, lower in other areas, but it averaged out to about that much dune face that we lost. Tunnel says that despite our location's vulnerability to flooding and erosion, renourishment projects do help preserve the life of Coastal Bend beaches. So anytime we can add sand to the beach, it's a good thing. Now, the General Land Office tells me that our dunes do provide a natural barrier to storm surge and that even with an active hurricane season, we're still in a much better shape than those upshore in the Galveston area. Back to you.